Good morning. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 7, today, verses 20 and 21. When the men had come to him, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you, saying, Are you the coming one, or do we look for another? And that very hour he cured many of infirmities, afflictions, and evil spirits, and to many blind he gave sight. So John the Baptist sends a couple of his disciples to Jesus and asks him, as we noticed yesterday, Are you the coming one? That's a pretty... Uh, intense thing to be asking. I mean, John is the forerunner. Jesus is Messiah. For him to ask that is almost a rebuke. It's like, you know, Jesus, you're not doing the things that we thought you would do when we thought you would do them. Are you really, are you really the one? But I want you to notice how Jesus answers this question. Are you the Messiah? Jesus says, stand over here, watch what happens. And there he goes, along with all these activities, healing, curing, throwing out evil spirits, uh, even many blind, not just one or two, but several people who were blind, Jesus restores their sight. In contrast to the false gods, all the false messiahs or uh, false deities out there, Jesus actually does stuff. He actually throws demons out. He actually cures the, the, the blind and makes them sighted. He actually uh, cures the afflicted. This is the difference between the one true God and all the false business out there, is that Jesus tells the truth and Jesus does the truth. He's not saying, look, sit down here, I'm going to give you a lecture about how impatient you are, how impatient John is, and, and tell you you should just believe in me, just take my word for it. God doesn't say just take my word for it. God gets out there, Jesus gets out there, and he actually does it. He actually does the healing. So I think that's something very special about the God, the God of Christianity. He is an active God. He, he shows, he, he walks the walk. He doesn't just talk the talk. So there's a difference between religion that lays claim to things and just says, okay, this is the way it is. And there's a religion that is real, that gives you true peace in your heart, that gives you true recovery from affliction, that gives you a true sight for the blind, you know. Uh, Christianity is the real thing. And so Jesus, to demonstrate that he's Messiah, he does the real thing. Go and show John this. That's his approach. And so there's something that uh, should be true for you and I. It, when we're defining what is real and what is true compared to what is false, we should be ones who our activities show it to be true. We don't need to just talk about it. We need to be it. Hey, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for a faith that manifests itself in true acts of healing, in true peace, in true peace of mind. And so, Lord, we look to you. You are our leader. Help us to be truly demonstrating the effectiveness of your kingdom in our lives. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, the blessing of God be upon you today.